Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be filming a makeup tutorial today for Valentine's Day using the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. I think this is the version two. For today's look, I'm gonna do something really soft and pretty, easy to do, super wearable, really great for a date. If you're not looking to be too glam and too dolled up. I think I'm gonna do a more full on, really glamorous Valentine's Day makeup tutorial as well, but today we're gonna to do something really pretty and wearable. More on the natural side, but not natural, if you know what I mean. Anyways, if you wanna see how to do it, then just keep watching, I will show you how. So where I live in Toronto, it has been super cold, like minus 30. And that means it's been really dry and my normally oily skin has been dry, which is crazy. I can't even imagine how much people who have dry skin are suffering right now. So I'm gonna really load on my moisturizer and really take the time to work it into my skin to really just perk my skin up, get the blood flowing. Bring back some life. And for my moisturizer, I used, as always, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. It's my favorite. So because I use so much moisturizer, I don't want to put too much other makeup on my face. So I'm going to skip a primer for today. I'm going to move on to foundation. For foundation, I was thinking for this look, I want my skin to be super glowy, really dewy and fresh and healthy looking. So I wanted to use a really glowy foundation, but the only foundation I have that sort of matches me right now is my Dior Forever, which is more matte. So what I'm gonna do is mix that with a little bit of my Lancome Tint Miracle Foundation. Uh, these two together are really pretty and you can see the colors are quite different. This one's a lot darker, so hopefully I can uh, get a good match going here with a little bit of extra luminosity mixed in as well. So I'm filming today with my ring light for the first time. Let me know how you like the lighting in the comments down below. It's pretty crazy what a difference it makes. Let me show you. So this is what I would normally be filming with. And so like straight on from the natural lighting would be nice, but because I have to kind of film from the side, I always have more of a shadow on this side of my face. So the light really helps to brighten everything up. So I'm breaking out on my forehead right here, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of my Dior Forever Concealer and just kind of spot conceal and tap that in with my fingers. And because I'm going for glowy skin, I have to use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am obsessed with this stuff. And I'm just going to put that in the areas that I'm going to highlight and blend that in with my fingers as well. I like to kind of bring that underneath my eye as well, just to help brighten that under eye area, reflect a little bit of light out of there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with my Anastasia Brow, what is this? A Brow Wiz in the color uh, medium brown and set them with my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Supermodel and I will be right back. I literally just bought this brow pencil this week and it already broke on me. This side had the spoolie on it and the, it like broke off. The spoolie's inside here. Like what? That's so bad. You know, these are so popular, these Anastasia brow pencils, and I've always used the Charlotte Tilbury ones, and I thought I would try this when my last Charlotte Tilbury one ran out, and I'm just like not that happy with it. I don't think the product is very good. I don't think it stays very well, and it just broke. <sighs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, so that is my brows without a spoolie. <laughs> so they're a little bit like, 
darker and more precise than I would normally do, but that's what I can do without a spoolie, so. It's all good. We can rock that look today. Next up, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to conceal my under eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade number 20, Sand. All right, so because it's been so dry, I don't really want to powder the majority of my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and powder the areas where I put that concealer. Dusting that airbrush powder between my brows, on my chin, under my eyes. My Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. And then I'm also just gonna set my expression lines. So I get these little creases right here when I smile. So I'm just gonna set those to help prevent makeup from building up in there. It doesn't completely prevent it, but I feel like it helps. Okay, so for my eye makeup, I'm gonna start with my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. It's a cream eyeshadow. This is in the color Rose Gold. It's a really pretty uh, pinky color. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. So with cream shadows, it's important not to use too much product because that's when you get creasing. So I'm just doing a nice light layer all over the lid and just kind of buffing that out. All right, so I'm gonna move into my Carly Bible Beige Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take this color right here to set my lid. It's a light, soft, pinky color with some shimmer to it. So obviously if you don't have the pink cream shadow for a base, you can just start with this color instead. The pink base just adds a little bit more intensity to the look, but it'll work just fine without it. So I wanna take something a little bit more neutral sort of through the top of my crease. So I'm gonna take this color right here, kind of a neutral pinky shade on a fluffy blender brush and just pop that above my crease to give the rest of the colors that I'm gonna put down something to blend into. So I'm switching from this brush that I just used to put that color into my crease to this one right here. So they're, they're both really similar, uh, but this one, which is a MAC 224, has more of a rounded tip to the top, so I can be a little bit more precise with my color placement. So I'm gonna switch to this brush and then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is sort of a matte version of this color. Um, and I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> and I'm gonna dust that onto the outer corner of my eye and through my crease. So underneath that transition shade that I just put down, more in the crease than above it and on the outer corner of the eye. And then I wanna add a little bit more depth to the outer corner of my eye, so I'm just gonna take this color right here on a MAC 217, and I'm gonna place that on the outer corner. And I'm just gonna take the brush that we used just before this, the tapered blending brush, just to kind of blend it a little bit. So I'm gonna take that same color, this one right here, on my pencil brush and line my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take that transition shade that we used above the crease on top on the same brush, just to really smoke out that lower lash line, give it something to blend into. I'm gonna go ahead with a brown eyeliner. Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal in Barbarella Brown. And I'm just going to take this and kind of smudge it into my lash line on the outer corner here. And then I'm going to take this little eyeliner brush from Sigma and I'm just going to smudge out that outer corner. 
And then because I'm gonna put on lashes, I do wanna have a little bit of liner on the inner corner as well, but I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit thinner. And I'm not gonna smudge out that inner corner, just keep it kind of smoky on the outer corner here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line as well. And I'm just gonna pop on some of my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara and a pair of lashes, and I will be back and we can finish off the face. Okay, so I just popped on these lashes from this brand called Kit. I've never bought these ones before. They remind me a lot of Ardell's. They have the same really lightweight band. I chose these ones for this look because they're very natural. They kind of look like lash extensions. Um, they're super wispy and really sort of flirty. They've got a really nice curl to them, so I thought they were sort of romantic and Valentine's Day-y. So I popped on those lashes with a little bit of mascara and then I just went over top of the lash band with my brown eyeliner just to cover up any glue um, that was kind of poking through. Um, just to make everything look nice and seamless and make them look a little bit more natural. Um, so we're almost done with the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner. And for highlight, I'm still going to be using this Carly Bible palette. Um, we've got all these nice highlighters along the bottom here that we can work with. So to highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to, I think, take a little bit of this one right here and mix in a little bit of this really bright pink and highlight the inner corner of my eye with that. And then I guess I'll go ahead and highlight my face with those as well. I just realized that I used my highlighting brush to put my matte crease shade into my eye earlier. Uh, but it's okay, it's fine, we're all good. Um, taking a small fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip it right into this shade right here that we just used on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with this. And for bronzer today, I'm gonna to use my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow Palette. I'm gonna take the Sculpt shade right here on this little NARS brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin with this. For blush, I'm gonna use this color right here from Charlotte Tilbury. It's sort of a peachy pink, which is kind of what I have going on on my eyes. My eyes are kind of a mixture of warm tones and cool tones, which I think is kind of cool, but it's making choosing my accoutrements a little bit more difficult here. So I'm gonna go ahead with this peachy pink. I'm just gonna kind of mix those two colors together. And I have been wearing two highlighters every day recently, sort of a darker one and a brighter one right on the high points of my face. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with that pink one right here. Um, and I'm just gonna add that right to the very high points of my face. And I can use a little bit more highlighter sort of on my forehead and areas where I would normally get more oily, like on my chin and the bridge of my nose. Um, because the weather's been so dry and I'm producing no oil at all, it feels like, I can go a little bit more crazy with the highlight than I normally do. A little trick that I've been doing a lot recently, if you watched my winter foundation routine, you will have seen this is once I have my makeup done, I am taking my setting spray and giving myself a really nice bath in it. Let it dry for just a second. And then while it's still damp, I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge and just really lightly go over top of everything 
just to really press everything into the skin and have all the makeup sort of meld together. I just really love the finish that this has been giving me. Okay, I'm loving this. So, next we're gonna do lips, and I can't really decide if I wanna do something like pink and do more monochromatic, or if I wanna just do a nude. Uh, what do you guys think, pink or nude? I wish I could actually ask you. So basically I'm deciding between this right here, Dolly Bird by Charlotte Tilbury, or Charlotte Darling by Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm gonna do Charlotte Darling with a more pink lip liner. So normally I would use like a brownie nude lip liner. Why don't I go ahead with Pillow Talk lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna fill my lips in entirely with that. Just so that the nude lipstick has a little bit more of a pink base to it. And this is Charlotte Darling Liquid Lip. Liquid lipstick is nice if you're going on a date because it's gonna stay in place. You don't have to worry about it transferring all over the place. And your lipstick stays on for you throughout your whole date. These Charlotte Tilbury liquid lips are not transfer proof. They have more of a satin finish, but that makes them really comfortable to wear. They're not super drying, but because they're not, they kind of, once they dry down, they still transfer a little bit. Like they're not kiss proof or anything like that, but they're still really nice and long wearing and really comfortable to wear. Okay, you guys, so this is my first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if, what you think of it down below. If you guys do this makeup tutorial for your Valentine's Day or your Galentine's Day, take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram. My, I'll put my Instagram on the screen right here. It's at Jessica on Instagram. I'm gonna be doing a more full glam, dramatic Valentine's Day look to put up on my channel as well. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you hit subscribe so you're notified when I upload new videos. I'll have all the products I use listed in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up so that more people can see it too, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.